Fall Guys, a game that came out of nowhere and took the world by storm. A colorful world inhabited by these creatures that exist only to run a deadly course. 60 of them compete. One makes it out. This raises many questions. Why do they run the course? What are the Fall Guys? What happens to those who fall into the abyss? This world isn't as bright and shiny as you think it is. It is fueled by the rage of 59 souls who get dropped to their doom on the seesaws. It is powered by the cries of those who get dragged off the edge on block party. It is fed by the despair of those who keep going through the middle of the worldly wake all in vain. This world is sustained by those poor fallen souls who get clapped by each and every one of the oddly shaped fruit on Fruit Shoot and I am here to say enough! No longer shall we be the first to fall down into the darkest depths of hell. And therefore I bring you this video. We will dissect this wretched world to get to the core of the beings that are the Fall Guys in an attempt to make sure none of us will ever fall into the slimy abyss ever again. But most importantly of all, we will find out how to survive without a single quick sprung stop. First of all, in order to win Fall Guys, you have to understand the Fall Guys. And to explain it best, we have to travel to the cursed lands of Tiptoe, a rectangular platform divided by square tiles. Some lead to a glorious victory, others the impending doom. But to catch, no one knows which is which and what is what. At first, the Fall Guys are eager to advance, since even though there is not much on the line at the very start, the stakes become infinitely higher nearing the end of the course you can see how the demeanor changes because they are oh so close to the end but one misstep and you are placed all the way at the back of the line instead of working together they work against each other trying to push each other off the tiles in order to find the next step to victory and this is kind of the overarching theme in Fall Guys the psychology of Fall Guys is interesting there is a herd mentality until the very end where it swiftly becomes to each their own. Yes, it's on these climbs and falls that many Fall Guys find their demise. As the buzzer goes off, all Fall Guys start running and frantically jumping over one another. But if we slow things down and look at the bigger picture, you can notice a clear pattern. There are three types of players that you will find all across the board on every Fall Guys map. 1. The team players. They stand on one side of the seesaw to lift the other end up for safe passage. They use common sense and reason to further their progress, a slower but safe process. Let's back it up a bit to find player type number 2, the tryhard. Observe what is happening with my playstyle. The team players lift the seesaw and I come barging through to profit of the hard work the team players try to deliver, leaving them in the dirt and screaming in agony. But don't be mistaken, the tryhard often finds its demise by taking risk and by the third player. Let's take it back all the way to the very start of the match. Do you see it? Team players. Tryhards, but in the mix, the third and the most common player, the noob. Seemingly no understanding of the concept of gravity and physics, they are a wild card who can either prove themselves useful in victory or be the end of every soul in a lobby. I like to call them the horde who will take down anyone who is stuck with them in the stampede. No, of course there are a ton more subspecies, there are the grabbers, the huggers, the people who simply are physically, mentally and spiritually unable to get a win, but now that you have a better understanding of the different players and potentially found your spirit animal, we shall focus on the two ways to get a win. We already learned a lot about the different Fall Guys, but now it's time to harness this into knowledge and turn knowledge into power. First of all, there are two ways you can beat Fall Guys. You can simply set your focus on winning or you can set your focus on making everyone else lose. Now winning by simply winning is a very simple concept to grasp. It's like watching a match of tennis and the person who has hit the ball the hardest at the end of 35 rounds is the winner. It's like American football. The one who managed to be on top of a pile of men is the winner. You get the gist, winning by winning. But how about winning by making everyone else lose? Mm, good question. 
Exhibit A, the asshole. See this. Subject number 6220 is taunting the poor last player, expecting me, subject 1748, eight, to join in on this. Like a real Chad, he laughs as he watches the numbers dwindle and hope starts to fade away for the remaining fall guy. But number 6220 is not the asshole, it was I. Two fall guys came barreling towards the finish line. One of them is going to make it, was in the back of their heads, but not today. Both of them will make it as I latch on to subject 6220. The asshole strikes again as I leap over the finish line too. Cries of agony can be heard as subject 6220 falls into the pink pits of despair. Exhibit B. The slippery slopes of slime climb are tough. The pink goo slowly rises as it takes out those who are too slow and near the top, the ultimate danger. Mobility at an all-time low, you have to tread carefully. But here comes I, subject 1748, if you look closely. Subject 3165 had the momentum and the speed to carry himself to a sweet victory. But a quick grab and he plummets down into the abyss. I get bounced around and I'm about to find my demise, but I use Fall Guy 855 zero as a bumper he flies off the edge screaming in agony exhibit c block party subject 1748 frantically jumping around i identify a target subject 229 he has a skin only obtainable through winning multiple rounds he has to go once again i use the long tentacles to knock him off course and there he goes as he's being dragged into the abyss now before we come to the conclusion of this video and I present you the holy grail of winning Fall Guys, I want to show you something magical. What happens when the noobs, team players and tryhards come together? What happens if the mentality of winning by winning or winning by making the others lose meet? Well here it is, the rock and roll cause. The team players and tryhards who want to win frantically push the ball forward. The noobs are nowhere to be seen and the players who want to win by making the others lose shoot forward. One side focuses on winning the game, the other side focuses on making the others not win the game and this is one of the most glorious sides to behold in Fall Guys. It's an ecosystem of all sorts of players. Whatever the force might be that made sure that these Fall Guys are on the same team, it is also the same force that decides who would make it to the next round and this is evolution in a nutshell. You sit here with the vice in hand, Homo sapien, not Neanderthaler, not Homo erectus, well maybe some of you if you catch my, <laughs> but definitely Homo sapien is the vast majority gazing upon this video. So it is now time to answer the burning question. How can I use all of this information I obtained to win Fall Guys? Well, you can't. It's all one big random clusterfuck and try as I may, I haven't gotten a win since 1996 in this godforsaken game. I can recommend trying to pray to the fucking spaghetti monster because that shit got me past the third round in recent history. So I am sorry. This was just a desperate attempt to get you guys to tell me how I can win this fucking game because dissecting the damn psychology in this 12 paragraph essay isn't working either and I'm at a loss here. That will be all. Peace out.